Hey there, this is TDR9, and I'm just going to give you the top um, top five uh, ph photography apps that are out so far on the App Store for uh, Apple and the iPhone 5 here. Um, yeah, so let's crack into it. So I've got a folder here with the apps I like to choose. Uh, so number five we're going to go for is um, uh, Woodlands. Basically, I can't really show you, but uh, basically it translates... Uh, woods into so if we get uh, see if this works KFC let's see if I've never tried it but let's have a crack at it uh, yeah let's choose language uh, so if I just click that there we go reverse it's not very good it's only good for if you have to pay for extras, which is a bum. Well, that's uh, number five for me anyway. Uh, number four I must go for is uh, whiteboard. Basically, it's kind of like a drawing app. You can do whatever you like. Uh, so you can also connect it to the. So I'll just draw a little thing here. But basically, it's so very responsive. Look at that. I know it's the iPhone 5, but I'm pretty sure on most phones it would be just as good. iPhone 4 and 4S, 3GS maps. Uh, you can undo things, and that's that. So you go, hello, YouTubers. There we go. Look at that. And uh, again, you can undo it. It's pretty quick. And also, you can sing this to the whiteboard in the say if you're a, cl if you're a teacher. You can sing that to the, the whiteboard. You, know, you can draw off the iPhone, which is pretty amazing. Uh, my third one. Uh, would be color shine. Uh, this is brilliant. I've took a picture here of the Wolf Stadium. Um, what I can do now is I paint and change the sizes. So I want to put it pretty low, so I can color in just the the grass. If you can see this, which is amazing. And uh, well, if I can do a good job at it, just the grass like that. Mm. There we go, and then you got the the rest of the grey scale. You can draw the sky in. There are advertisements. That's that's the downfall. The sky is coloured, and then if you want to colour into the the stadium, you colour in any photo. You can have you a grey a background of a relative, um, which is you know handy if you want to. You look good at that effects and stuff like that. So that's my third one. My second one is iMotion HD, which is pretty good. If you got all that animation stuff, so basically, it's um, say you had like a little clay man, and then you wanted to make a little animation or like a little Lego man. Put it in, takes continuous photos as long as you like, and you can make him move. So I can't really give you an example, but you can put. You just click start, and what it's going to do is start, and it continues continuously taking photos. You can hear that. Um, but the cat is <laughs> continuous until you can't stop. And I'm going to say stop. And there we go. Now, cool is that? Uh, so we don't want that. That's rubbish. And number one at the moment, which I'm using to record this, is YouTube Capture. YouTube Capture is a new app for uh, users. Who wish to record and upload them via YouTube, which is really good. I'm using it at the moment. Uh, basically, you record and it uploads it in the same app, and it's a proper Google app as well. So there's no need to go to your f iPhone users, go to your photos, and then upload to YouTube and put in all the description. This is it's built all in. So I can do um, say I want to upload that, and there's a title. Um, you can make it public. Listed, blah blah blah, upload it at the top right, add it to Facebook, add it to Twitter. Uh, oops, it's going to my Facebook. Oops, it's going to YouTube, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, so that's really good, and that's really my top five uh, drawing photography apps. I hope you liked it, and I'm going to do some more um, top five games, and top five apps, and top five. Um, video streaming apps so hope you enjoyed this um i'll keep you posted on what i'm doing thanks very much